What's tea? What's poppin'? What up, gang? What's good? It's DNA. So shy. If you're new, hey, boo. If you're not, hey, sweet. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to grow your hair because you cannot be bald going into 2025. So I'm gonna teach you how to grow your hair in 2024 for the next six months. So when 2025 hit and then it's summer 2025, your hair is down to mm. Your hair is voluptuous, it's long, it's thick, it's healthy. I'm gonna just give you all the self care tips. First tip is number one: you need to wash your hair with the right porosity. Now, what I mean by that is porosity is basically the type of hair that you have. So with that being said, you can have high porosity or you can have low porosity. With high porosity, that means you have to use a certain method or you have a certain type of hair texture. That means it's kind of, when water hits it, it's kind of like it immediately curls up. Then with low porosity, say if water was to hit or whatever the case may be, it would take a little bit longer because it has to saturate, because it has to get thoroughly into the hair curls or into the actual hair strands. There's a difference between high porosity and low porosity. If you wash your hair, if you have high porosity, but you wash your hair with low porosity products, it's not gonna mash well. But if you have high porosity hair and you wash your hair with high porosity products, then it'll mash better if you was to use your actual high porosity products with your high porosity hair. Because the way it navigates or because the way it works for each other, it kind of helps one another. So another reason why it's good to also make sure that you're washing your hair with your porosity, with your porosity products, is because say you was to have low porosity, but you use a lot of high porosity products and then it has a lot of protein in it. A lot of people don't know this, but with as much protein as you put in your hair, it is good to have protein in your hair, but if you have too much, then at that point your hair can absolutely fall out or it can be damaged or it can, at the end of the day, not be what you expect it to me because one you're not using the right products and two with too much protein it breaks the hair off it's a little bit too brittle you know what i mean it has too much of it so it can't really contain all of that protein you know what i'm trying to say so try to like definitely stay away from products that's not really good for your hair type number two things that i feel like you should be able to use to grow your hair out is to basically wash your hair and kind of like hot lukewarm water but rinse it out in cold water a lot of people don't understand this but or a lot of people don't really know this but when you wash your hair in hot water it kind of opens up the hair strands so when you have the shampoo it's getting into the hair strands it's getting into your scalp so it could like deeply moisture or night moisture deeply wash your hair and deeply wash your scalp now with the cold water it's more of a shock so it's going to close it really really quickly what i like to do with the cold water is i like to use that for my conditioner i like to condition my hair of course after you shampoo it but after i get done shampooing my hair i rinse it out mind you it's not too too hot but it's not cold at all so i would definitely say like on the lukish warm side for sure close to warm or close to hotter because what you're going to do is when you rinse all of that out, you're going to feel your hair. It's going to be like really, you ever felt something that's like squeaky clean? Your hair is going to be squeaky clean. So after your hair is squeaky clean, what you will do is you'll put the conditioner. What the conditioner is going to do is going to give your hair slip. It's going to give your hair more softer manageability so you're able to do it better. If you know what I mean? You're able to comb it out better. You're able to style it better. It's able to be softer, more fluffier. So with the conditioner being in your hair and it being sits in your and it's being sits in your hair for so long what it'll do is it'll penetrate through your pores not your pores it'll penetrate through your hair strands and it'll make your hair strands actually stronger within the inside to make it appear on the outside more strong it's gonna like basically go inside of the hair strand to like really get it coated to really like the protein that I was just talking to you about it's gonna really get the protein in there and then with the cold water it's gonna kind of seal it in there because since the hair strength is open from you washing your hair when you what when you condition your hair it's gonna kind of close the hair strand keep it pro tip keep the conditioner in your hair for at least at least at least at least 20 to 30 40 minutes personally I like to do it for over my minimum time is two hours I like to do it especially if I'm deep conditioning I like to do it for two hours but if I'm just doing like a regular conditioner at least keep it in after you done washing up your body two three good times and then I rinse it out so it could get into your actual hair strength the third thing on how to grow your hair is to treat your hair Nobody talks about this, but everybody needs to at least one point in time in a few times in their life, actually. I would personally say every month or at least every two months, you need to give your hair a protein treatment and or some type of keratin treatment, some type of, some type of treatment. Your hair needs to be treated. Now, what I mean by that is you need to basically go in and do some type of deep condition. 
you need to not just do a deep conditioning with a conditioner, but an actual deep conditioning with some type of deep conditioning product and or some type of mayonnaise, some type of homemade DIY type of deep conditioning product off the strength because that's how you actually get your hair to be trained that's how you get to have different curl patterns you could go from one curl pattern to a different because you trained your hair under different proteins under a certain protein if you know what i'm trying to say so with your hair being so much healthier it'll give off the it'll give that off in your curls it'll make your curls more volum voluminous and it'll make them like kind of more juicier. Okay, with deeper penetration with the treatment of the conditioners, basically what that'll do is it'll basically treat your hair, it'll, it'll coat your ends too. That'll, it's like really, really good for your ends. So shampoo is kind of good for your roots so your roots could like kind of wash out, but your ends are the ones that kind of needs the conditioning. They're the ones that need the protein because at the end of the day, those are the ones that's being out in the world being exposed most because those are the ones that needs to be treated the most. Also, it's really, really good to protein treat your hair because it'll make your hair like 10 times more softer. It'll make it 10 times more manageable and it'll retain your hair from falling out because it has all the moisture and all the protein and everything that it needs in this hair. It can make your hair stronger. You know what I mean? So it can hold together. So it don't just keep breaking off. You know what I'm trying to say? You know, you hate when you comb your hair and your hair is breaking off because it's not moisturizing. It's not treating. There's nothing to like really hold it together. There's nothing to secure it together. You know what I'm trying to say with the protein? It's like it's molecularly changing your hair. You know what I'm trying to say? So it can make it stronger. The fourth thing to grow your hair is whatever you put inside your body is gonna come out side of your body aka your hair so say let's talk about your diet say you don't have really a good clean diet say you just drink juice and you just eat chips all day you don't really eat dinners you don't really eat vegetables there's really no fruits why would your hair feel as though it's able to be to be cured a certain way or it's able to be broadcasted a certain way when you can't even take care of yourself a certain way know what I'm trying to say it's almost like with working out whatever you put into your body is how it's gonna fuel your body when you get into the gym whatever you put inside your body is how your body will eat the hair inside of your body not actually eating whatever you're eating but I'm talking about more so whatever you put into your body is supposed to like be healthy enough to where it replenishes everything in your body especially your hair so if you're just eating junk foods all day if you're not really caring about what you're ingesting especially Especially, it's just not about what you eat. It's also about what you attend to. It's about what you listen, about what you read. All of that actually plays a big, big part, a key part into your mind. Want to know why? Because if you keep ingesting things that's more so negative, if you keep ingesting things that's more so not your speed, your length, what you want to do, what you're attracted to do, you know what I'm trying to say? You're just ingesting things that's not aligned with you. Your hair will definitely show because now your hair, because now you're like in a way stressed out. Now your hair is going to be stressed out, which means now it's going to be falling out. You know what I'm trying to say? It's all kind of like a, it's all kind of like a chain reaction. When one thing happened, the next thing happened, that happened, that happened. And unfortunately, if you don't start, if you don't start it right here, by the time it gets to the hair, it's already incomplete. You have to fix what's ever in yourself. You have to fix what you're putting inside yourself for it to be broadcasted when it comes out. You know what I'm trying to say? You can't really expect to have good hair. You can't, you can't really expect to have the best hair. You can't really expect to be your hair to be so healthy if you're not injecting or if you're not putting things healthy things inside your body. What's also good for your hair and for your body is vitamin supplements. Those are really, really good. What I use to really, really grow my hair was biotin. Biotin, if I'm not mistaken, was good for your skin, hair, and nails. Now, unfortunately, because I was taking it OD because I needed my hair to grow from here to here in like a year. <laughs> Vitamins and supplements are really, really good for you because, yes, it does help with your body, but it also helps with your hair, too. Like I said, I was taking a biotin, but with the biotin, it kind of made my face break out a little bit more because it was a higher dosage. But if you was to lower your dosage and you was to still be more effective, you could still be effective with the biotin. But definitely, you would definitely see a change, a difference in your hair quality, in your hair texture. You would definitely see a change in your nails and the way it's growing and how thick it's growing. A lot of people don't understand that, yes, biotin will probably make it grow, but it also makes it thicker, too. A lot of people don't really understand that like yes you might have the length but you don't have the density the density is also what is so important that's also how you grow your hair with the density yes you can have long hair but when it's thick 
and even and healthy, that's better than lawn care any day because it's even and it's healthy. Drink your water. Please, please, please drink your water. A lot of people don't understand you can flush out all of the bad toxins, everything bad, everything that wasn't good inside of you with just water, but it takes you. You have to drink that water like I'm talking about at least four times a day, like three to four bottles a day. That sounds excessive, yes, but do you want your hair to grow and do you want to flush everything that's in your body out? Yes. So it's like you kind of got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like you take the pros with the cons. You want your hair to grow, but you got to drink water. You have to drink your water to really flush out the toxins. Number five. Number five. This is like probably one of the best ways to grow your hair. This is probably the most controversial way to grow your hair. And unfortunately, you're not going to like what I have to say. But if you really want to grow your hair, then you'll take heed to what I have to say. Cut it off. Cut it off. I'm not saying cut all of it off. But cut a good majority of it off. I mean, you have to cut off all your heat damage. So, I would say, say you have a lot of new growth, you have a good new growth, this time the third, you have to cut everything that's straight off. If you don't cut your hair and you just want it to keep growing, keep growing, keep growing, keep growing, your hair is not going to grow. I want to know why? Because you have split ends. With the split end, it keeps going up the same hair strand until you cut it. So, say you have one hair strand. It's going to divide into two pieces of hair strands, which now is going to be two pieces, which means it's going to keep going. It was it was just one, but now it's going to keep splitting and keep splitting, keep splitting until it gets to the top. And then at that point, you have to completely cut it off because it's dead now. It's like you can't even fix it. So for you to even prevent that, what you will do is say you have the hair strand. This is the hair strand, but it's starting to split like right here at the knuckles you will cut it right here right just above the knuckle just a little bit and then what you will do is you will just moisturize it no more heat no more blow drying no more none of that you will straight literally strictly and i'm talking about strictly you will strictly just moisturize your hair curl it up do what you have to do protective hairs but after you cut your hair there is no more heat i wouldn't say throw away those products but definitely put them in the back of the closet because you're not going to be using those for a long long time also it's really really good to cut that hair that dead hair off because what a lot of people don't understand is when you cut that dead hair off you're also cutting off that dead energy that dead weight that dead negative baggage that you was holding while you had that hair it's almost like almost time you every time it's like almost every time you cut your hair you will be going through a kind of a transformation a transition so when you cut your hair you're cutting you're kind of cutting off dead weight or you're kind of cutting off the past to now be focused on your future on your present this is going to be a new look it's going to be a new you it's going to feel different it's, i'm not gonna lie the hardest part for me i don't even think it was for me cutting my hair it was for me to wear my hair short because i've never worn my hair short so when i say i would just afro it out and my hair was just like right here so when that happened i was just like shaking i didn't know what to do for like a year straight i was like <laughs> number six period keep your hair in routine it is strictly detrimental to keep your hair in a routine because if you not even once fall off, but if you keep falling off your hair routine, your hair is not going to want to know or it's not really going to know what to do. It's not really going to know which way to go because it was in a routine or it was trying to get acclimated to a routine, but now it kind of fell off the routine. So now it's just like, eh, what do you want me to do? It, it can't really do nothing by itself because you didn't train your hair yet. Now, once your hair is trained, the routine will get easier. I'm not saying to not fall off the routine. I'm not saying to fall off the routine, but I'm definitely 100% saying that the routine will strategically and significantly get easier as you keep going with it and you keep being consistent with it. When I first cut my hair, I think I was doing a routine of every week. I think I washed my hair once a week, but I also deep conditioned it. Then I would do finger coils, or I would do a twist out, and I would wear that for the week. And then that Sunday or Saturday, whatever the case may be, I kind of just redid it again. Then I just redid it again and redid it again i just kept doing it for like literally a year or two and then by that time after like two years my you would never time goes by so quickly well yours is going to come by like it's nothing like jack rabbit so after me just doing that for two years and me not even realizing two years that went by my hair was already back down to the length it was before i cut it also another reason why it's good to keep routine too is because your hair will also start to develop some type of routine it'll also develop some type of way that it's supposed to look or supposed to curl some type, some type of way that's supposed to be styled it'll like kind of go right to that style it'll kind of go right to that curl it'll kind of go back to that 
to basically what is that word that uniformity or that comfortability that is so comfortable that that you had that strict training routine done at you know what i'm trying to say it'll go back to that recourse because that's what it's known that's what it's used to so once your hair gets acclimated to a routine it's almost damn near trained so at that point once it's trained it'll be significantly and strategically easier to just keep doing your hair because now your hair already know what it wants your hair knows what it needs you know what your hair needs number seven this is probably the biggest one that i could have said or this is the biggest one that should have been number one i don't know why it's number seven but save the best for last i won't lie to you pray 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 to god i'm talking about you literally pray to god he's at the end of the day he was the one that gave you the hair he's the only one that can help you grow he's the one that made these products he's the one that made you who you are you're the one that has to go in this world with this natural hair i promise you he is going to answer all of your questions he is going to sit there and he's going to make a way for you not for no but not for she she not for bing bing not for ting ting for you so when i say ask god and i mean pray to god i literally legitly mean pray to god literally ask that man because when i say it was so many times i didn't know what to do with my hair or it was so many times i just wanted to cut it off again it was so many times that i just wanted to give up it was so many times where i just didn't feel confident in my hair i just had to keep praying keep praying pray through it all when i say going through this it might when your first few months might be a little hard because you don't have long hair no more because the hair is short because you don't know how to maintain it whatever because you just pray to god because god will literally answer all your prayers he will answer all your questions he will answer everything that you have about your hair everything that i had a question about everything that i was curious about everything that i was scared about everything that is not there i promise you all i had to do was ask god all i had to do was literally ask god and god was right there to answer him. and then he gave me an answer and gave me the way on how to do it you know what I'm trying to say? Pray to God because I swear to God, He's the one that's going to answer the questions. I can give you the blueprint on how to how how it made my hair grow. God's going to give you the formula on how to strategically make your hair grow. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked my video, can you please like, comment, subscribe? It'll be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. And until further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Just let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys later. Get in out of line.